These are the worst fibers to eat if you have sleep apnea. We just get told all willy-nilly, here, eat this broccoli, eat this cardboard, fiber is good, yeah, yeah, yeah. But the thing is, when you don't appreciate how the fermentation process happens inside of your gut, you can end up causing a lot of issues with your breathing because fermentation, very deliciously, is the bacterial breakdown of stuff you just ate and that will then produce some gas, yum. And if there's too much gas from certain fiber types, then that will reduce the amount of space in your abdomen, make it harder to breathe. Not good. So what's the good versus the bad? So here's good versus bad. Bad fibers are things that are tougher to break down. This is a unripe banana, by the way, but you want to avoid these ones. Now for the good fiber, think of things that are found like oatmeal or psyllium from different sort of easier to chew and digest vegetables. But of course, you still want to improve the number one factor. That's a good, stable breathing pattern. To do that in an easy step-by-step -step way, made just for you, click this button here or go to the website over my face to get a step-by-step -step breathing plan.